Hello everyone, I am King Crumbit, and I'm here to show you the latest progress on making stone signs. As you can see, what I have laid out in my workshop is all the way over to here. And what I will show you is this is a sign that I have made by myself. And I will show you how I have done it. This is the name of one of my new fruit trees. I used this tool to do all of this. This is a Dremel tool, and it has a diamond bit on it. It also has a flashlight as you can see, and right here is a vacuum cleaner. This allows me to see what I'm doing and to vacuum up the stone dust, which can get in the way. Also, I will show you the different bits I have tried. I used this bit to do this sign here. It was all right, but it went slowly and tended to burn the bit up a bit. As you can see, the dark color at the end of the bit. So, not really made for this kind of thing. However, this sign looks very nice. And I made that using this bit which is a diamond-coated bit for Dremel. I recommend this. It goes very quickly and cuts very cleanly. So the other thing I will show you is how to lay out your stone so that you can do the same thing. First, I had some old flagstone around. But I'm sure if you go to the stone store, you can find small pieces like this very inexpensively. This would be about the size I would be looking for. Then I found some great fonts to use in my word processor, and I printed them out like this, and they would go here. And once I have cut them and fit them the way I want on the piece of stone, I tape them down, as you can see here, using painter's tape. And here are some examples. There's a smaller one and a bigger one. Then I just outline the words with the Dremel. And I will show you that now. I will go very quickly, so keep a close eye out.
move, I think I have figured out a better way to do this. And because I'm king, it must be the right way. I like the look of these. This one and this one. Let me show you what I've done. You can see that the letters are very clear and that it's made a deep groove into the, the stone. What I found out is that the diamond bit that I am using requires water as a lubrication for deep cuts. So what I'm going to be doing is starting to cut this without any water, but just a very, very shallow cut. Then I can take the, the paper off because the paper tends to dissolve when I've used when I use water. I take the paper off, and then you can I can cut deeply using water as a lubricant. So let me show you what I'm doing. I try just a little bit different approach, but for the most part we're doing it the same way now. And that is using lots of water to lubricate the, the cutting tool uh, and going slowly. And I hope you could see by that last video that it uh, um, is important to keep the field of view clear. So I just use a sponge and this little container of water and just keep adding more water. The other thing is that I have this all set up on a lid, the top side of a lid of a, you can see it there, of a blue bucket. And it's just the right depth. It keeps the water contained, but not so much that I can't get my hands in to work on this. So, as I said earlier, this depth is about four millimeters for the deep cut, the final cut, and probably about one millimeter to um, get the scratch cut on it. So um, I hope that you've enjoyed this, and I will continue to make signs. As you can see here, I have another one all ready to go. And I hope that you have a chance to try this out yourself. Uh, one other thing is the reason to use this um, router is that it keeps the tool straight up and down, which cuts these in very 
um, controlled fashion, which gives you the nice lettering like that. Now you notice that some of them are a little uneven, and it's very difficult. The, the hardest part is to do the, the ones that are curved, like the O's and the curved parts of the D. Those are difficult. Oops, i got to get the lighting right here. But if you go slowly, you'll get it, and you'll have a beautiful sign. Um, the final thing I do is I put waterproofing on them, just because I don't want them to, to um, come apart in the weather. So I've waterproofed the stones, and this one is done and ready to go out uh, and mark that plant for a very long time. Again, enjoy. I hope that you uh, find this instructive and that uh, you can go carve your own garden signs. Thanks for watching. One, two, three. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to my home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by. Prison bars have flown. I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by. I'll fly away. Take it away, Mayor. Another one.